Well, practice, practice, practice. Revise and spiral learning. And I will give a specific example in the master class how one can one can do that and achieve that. Uh, just to bear in mind that in maths everything is interconnected. You cannot say algebra is something which or some topic that has nothing to do with geometry or with probability or this or that everything is interconnected because some students even at a levels they said this is a very difficult question in probability and what i say and even uh, for gcac there are so-called very horrible world word questions so what is this? What is that? The vehicle is going on a path, this and that. Just identify what mathematical concepts are there. And if you have something that you don't know, revise it. And also look purely from mathematical point of view. So what is, for example, a law, a law of, um, what to say, a law according to which a certain vehicles travel a line? It's a function. And quite often, it's a very simple function. Then, what is the velocity? Velocity is the first derivative of function. Well, that's a level, <laughs> of course. So similar things, just identify the concept and write down whatever you know about them. And you arrive at the solution when you have this type of problems. When you have, let's say, pure maths problems, then again, the first thing what I say is start with the definition many students they they even enter university and they don't know what a definition is because in mathematics we okay i will be speaking about let's say uh, teaching maths in english we use english language english words but we put different meanings so you have to know the mathematical meaning of every word. Then the next step is relate those things together. For example, you have one, let's say, linear equation. You have some ways of solving it, but what is a linear equation in two variables? This is an equation of a straight line. And if you go further one level, if it is a linear equation with three variables, this is an equation of a plane. So just imagine, don't think that those are some very scary uh, unknown objects that we just have to remember, solve past questions, remember. No. Use your imagination and see what, in fact, they are. Because mathematics, it hasn't been born, uh, I mean, with pen and paper. It has been born from real life. And people observe, and as observation, as a result, they make equations, they make laws, they make definitions, they make notions, and that's it. 